Good morning. This is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the upcoming forecast across West Central Texas. This briefing is being updated early Monday morning. Several rounds, or several days at least, of some possible uh, strong to severe storms across the area uh, upcoming this week. Starting the day off, though, today uh, with uh, just dry conditions, with uh, warm for the afternoon. High temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s across the area. Breezy conditions developing, especially by afternoon, with 15 to 20, uh, 20 mile per hour winds. Now, we do expect to see some storms develop across the uh, yeah, Trans-Pecos and the Permian Basin late this afternoon and then move into west central Texas during the evening and then into the uh, overnight hours. Uh, I think uh, for most areas, we're just looking at uh, some, some storms that are probably below severe levels. But there is a risk of a few uh, reaching severe levels or at least approaching severe levels across the extreme western portion of the area, say west and northwest of a, a Sterling City to Sweetwater to um, Hamlin and Haskell line. Again, I think for most of West Central Texas, we're probably looking at some gusty winds, some dangerous lightning, perhaps some uh, brief heavy rainfall. These storms move across, say, late tonight and into the uh, morning hours on Tuesday. After that, I think the next chance of storms will be uh, coming up on Wednesday, uh, late Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. Uh, these storms look to be a little bit stronger and cover a little bit more of the area. And granted, the greatest risk area will be across the uh, northern big country, north of Interstate 20, up around Haskell and Throckmorton, maybe down toward Hamlin and Albany. Further south, though, I think the, the chance of storms is a little more isolated, but if a storm does develop, certainly it has the potential to reach uh, severe levels. Again, just about anywhere across the area, uh, if a storm does develop, we're looking at some, uh, some very large hail, perhaps larger than golf balls, damaging winds, and we can't rule out an isolated tornado as well. Again, uh, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, um, if we get a storm, it has a decent chance of becoming severe. It's just a question of whether we see any of these storms develop at all, though. After that, again, when more storms coming up uh, into uh, late in the week and into the weekend, Friday and Saturday look to be the uh, most likely day for storms. Again, we're pretty far out to be able to tell whether they'll be severe or not, but uh, looking at the middle of May, it's always hard to rule out severe storms, so something we'll be keeping a very close eye on as we get later in the week and kind of can nail down that uh, severe, uh, severe weather potential as we get closer. Thank you, and we'll continue to keep you updated.